So I got an email from John the Potter. He's got a new logo. We want some new stamps and let's make him some. So here's what John had to say. So I have a little John the Potter logo I've been using and wondering if it's possible to put it on a stamp for clay. I'd love a little one for the bottom of pots and maybe a little bigger one for a mug or something. Let me know if that's possible. Of course it's possible. Let's make those right now. So these are the first set of stamps I made cut out of acrylic about halfway through. You can see this is what it'll look like. Uh, the handle side goes on this side, but JTP, really nice. So I made a bigger one and then three smaller ones. You know, it's really hard to tell when someone says uh, they want a small one for the bottom of a mug, just how small, especially after shrink rate. So I think this one looks good. Uh, it doesn't take much extra effort to, to send some larger ones along. So I'm gonna send these. Now, it also occurred to me, man, I, it would really be nice to make this a little bit bigger. But uh, the reality, you can see even on this one, there's a bit of a curve to it. You know, there's the laser and all the melting and cutting on this side. The bigger they get, the more they kind of get a bit of a buckle. And I can heat them and press them, but uh, there's just a point to which they just get a little bit too big and I can't really get deep enough to not have this texture become a more and more prominent part as the part gets bigger uh, you know bigger spots are going to be uh, shoved up in here and the texture becomes an issue so we're going to send them a new kind of stamp just a straight cutout and this logo is nice for it because uh, you know if you have a logo with like a little monkey tail sticking off you can't really use something like this easily because it might break but this logo is nice and self-contained and uh, relatively thick so I'm going to figure out a way to get a, a handle or something on this uh, where you can still kind of grab it and push it in but that way you don't have to worry about the, the texture and I think this is a nice size so let me get some handles on these. So, have the stamps ready to ship. I think this turned out great. Have a little flat spot on the top so you can tell what is up on the stamp. I'm sure he's gonna love them. Can't wait for him to get them. And I have this gift. Can't wait for him to see it. I wanted to send him a gift for his Pottery Studio project he's working on. I'm not sure if you saw the first video when I made him stamps, but this is what happened. I already know what it is. I know what it is because there's a YouTube video about it. So I was hoping more this time we'd have a bit of a surprise. I didn't want him to see it on the video first. So I've taken this and cut this video into two pieces. I'm gonna wait until he gets the package and gets to open it and see it. And uh, then I'll release the video on how I made what I sent him. If you're interested in having your own custom stamps made, hang around after the doobly-doo at the end of the video and I'm gonna give you a two minute quick Q&A on how that works. So as for pricing, I charge $50 for a project. With that, I'll make you three or four stamps, one or two stamps, whatever it is that you need. And I'll charge $15 per stamp and get that mailed off to you in a couple days. 
So you send me your image, I take a look at it, or multiple images, or even if you don't have art done and you just say, hey, I need a, a maker mark that has these letters and I'd like a box around it, or maybe you want to hand draw something and take a good quality picture and send it over to me and say, what do you think about this? And I'll look at doing that. Now when I say one, two, three, four stamps, I want to clarify that Probably the most frustrating thing in my mind uh, would be as a customer to get a custom stamp made for you. You know, it, it took a while, it wasn't inexpensive, and it wasn't exactly perfect. It wasn't right, it wasn't the right size, I wish it was slightly different. So with any stamp that I make, I like to send at least two versions. If you really want a specific size, I can make you a second one as a, as a backup, but when when a person orders a stamp from me, I send them two versions. Uh, usually one a little bit bigger, one a little bit smaller, uh, but that's the deal. As well, within a week of getting your stamps, you realize, I'd, I'd like this exact stamp. I don't need it reworked. I just need it a little bit bigger, a little bit smaller. There's no additional design fee for that. I'd charge you the $15 for the stamp. I'd make it for you and uh, ship that off. So shipping in the US is about $7 if you're in the Continental 48. Uh, Canada, Alaska can be 15 to $25. Um, I haven't shipped anywhere else, but if you live somewhere else and you want me to make you a stamp, happy to do that. So I hope you thought that was helpful. If you have any more questions, give me an email at justin at justinsmakery.com or go check out my website for more information. Thanks again.